Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Guys, I am here with Baby Memphis, and I am going to actually get London changed today into a little outfit. I don't know if she can fit it or not, but um, just wanted to show Memphis outfit of the day as well. Um, I got him and uh, Rico changed today and so every day not every day but um, a lot of days I will kind of go in and pick a baby that I would like to change I actually got Aspen changed too this morning I forgot about that as well so um, sometimes I coordinate the babies and sometimes I don't so um, yeah so that is baby Memphis and um so yeah, he is my sweetie poop poop. And he uh, he is a good size baby, guys. He is probably, you know, did I do this already? I am going to do something here. Um, if you guys be patient with me. I been saying like the Benjamin kit, I think, is close to Memphis size but maybe he's fatter the legs might be the yeah the legs look like they're fatter so I think length wise they might be similar but I think the I definitely know the thighs are fatter so he is a chunky baby um I think this sculpt looks really good in the AA tones. Um, I don't know when I'll be painting mine, but just for good measures, I'm just gonna kinda show you guys a size comparison. I know this is, wasn't the plan for this video. I, like I told you guys, I never like set out what I'm gonna talk about or what I'm gonna do when I come online. I just kind of do it <laughs> and talk and then I find myself in trouble. All right, so actually this kit is quite bigger than um, than Memphis now that I'm um, looking at it actually. It's quite, quite bigger. Um, head size, yep, head size is even way much bigger okay so the kit actually is bigger now that i'm over the final situation um and by the way matt Ferrison did change the listing to show that it is drumming vinyl but i mean it's kind of late they're sold out everybody already done bought it but at least the instructions are there or, you know, when people get ready to resell kits, a lot of times people will go to the website to kind of look at the details of a kit before they, like, purchase a baby or, you know, buy a blank kit off for somebody else. So, yeah, so actually he is, I don't know what you guys can see, but I'm going to get it in the camera soon. Here we go. So, actually, the kit is... Quite a bit bigger than Memphis, actually. I was like, this kid is about Memphis size. It's not. This is actually a pretty big baby. Okay. All right, so that's that's good. Yeah, it's a good size. So for right now, I'm gonna keep all my kids, um, all three of them. <laughs> uh -huh. um, I have a couple kids. For real though, <laughs> but I'm gonna keep them, and I'm gonna paint one at some point, and see how that goes before I decide to let any go. So, um, as a blank, but yeah, and the kit definitely looks much better once it's painted. So anyway, that's that for those. So this is Alexis by Cassie Brace over here. And then this is Benjamin by Natalie Blick. And it does seem to 
have its place. Okay, so, all right. So let's, let's get this one out the way. Put it back on the shelf. <laughs> Blanks on the shelf. So, all right, I am definitely happy about that. Um, yeah, oh, I actually, I, Actually, now that I'm fooling with it, I kind of can see where I actually could like that kit a little bit more. Like at first, seeing what I first seen. That's a thing though too. Sometimes when we get really, really irritated by something or upset by something, it can be the smallest thing or something that really, you know, because what's small to somebody else may not be small to you. So I don't want to minimize my frustration over not knowing what the vinyl was um but I think it kind of skewed my judgment of the kit as well the moment I realized that it was not um it was not the traditional vinyl that I'm used to working with so yeah so anyway we're gonna get baby London here, and London is the Aspen by Claire Teller. Um, this is, the pre-orders are done with this kit, but um, it is going to be an open edition. So, there's chance that you can get your own. Anyway, um, so London was painted by Sylvia Blue 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 and um, Esquire, Sylvia Creations, all that great jazz. She is a prototype. Anyway, um, to be a biracial baby, and she is very, very light biracial, if you want to call it that. She looks so lovely. So lovely, lovely, baby. BB. <laughs> BB. I love her so much. I love this sculpt. I can't wait for the kids to come in. Gosh, I cannot wait, guys. Oh, my gosh. So, I pre-ordered a couple of the Aspen kits. And I'm hoping to paint my own. Um, another one for my personal collection. Um, also, guys, I have my Alex by Claritella as well. And I don't know that I want to really paint that kit. Um, it's still blank. It's still the silicone partial. <sighs> but because it's an open edition, it makes it a little bit more challenging to actually sell the blank kit second market because they can just go to the sculptor. So even if you discount it, um, people still just rather just go to the sculptor. And a lot of times too, people have this false belief that you have to paint them freshly after they're poured, which is not really the case. But nevertheless, I'll probably go ahead and paint mine. And when I do, I'll probably keep it in my personal collection. But I don't know when I'll get to that part. I have so many side projects going on right now. I cannot even think about it. But I just love her little lips. Oh my goodness. And I love her limbs. Like she has the best newborn legs like and arms she actually um <laughs> she actually have newborn legs her legs are so much like my legs were when i was a baby i mean like totally um <sighs> wonder if claire was looking at my legs <laughs> Okay, that didn't sound right. <laughs> that didn't sound right. <laughs> oh gosh, that's all I need is a rumor going around. 
Yeah, Serenity said Claire was looking at her legs. <laughs> y'all know y'all do the most. Y'all know y'all know it ain't that far fetched. Next thing y'all know y'all have it going around talking about No mind. I ain't gonna say it. Let me leave it alone. Let's move on. <sighs> I love my life. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um anyway. Yeah, so I love her because she has this very baby look. And I'm hoping that when I do my next one, and two, and a three, and a four, that I really, really can create them to all look like different. But I do like this serene look. Um, so I do want to paint them softly and serene like this because this is very, very... Gives, she's very very sweet and so newborny in my opinion um so with that being said if you are going to be looking for an aspen <laughs> just hold tight <laughs> i'm going to paint quite a bit of them and i'm going to put a couple up for sale when i do just like everybody else will be but we all have our own style and own way of doing things. So they're going to definitely probably all look kind of different. Except for people that actually, never mind. I mean, I say that either. <laughs> look at you, mama. And she came with this pacifier. So the pacifier actually, um, I love the pacifier on her. Even though I love her lips, I love to, to see her little lips. But I love her with her little, little, little bubble pacifier. Because she just looked like a baby that would be like blowing a bubble. Where is her pacifier? Uh, oh, right here. And it kind of matches her stuff because she looks so good in pink. I'm always putting her in pink. So, and they take a modified pacifier so you don't have to make a magnet for them. I love it. That's the part I love. Oh, I love her so much. Y'all have no idea. Like, these, these, um, dolls really, like, give me life. Ooh, you can put your hand in your pocket. Look. Look at you. Oh, you gonna put your other hand in your pocket? Let's put your other hand in your pocket. In a pocket, what you got? What you got? What you looking for? You think you got some treats? <laughs> she got some treats, y'all. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to put her on her socks. I've been so busy playing with her. Oh, gosh, guys. I am, my heart is so full. I keep saying that, but I mean it so much. I, it's, you know, I go through these moments where I hate this community. I won't lie. I absolutely hate it and I hate everybody in it. And then I have so many moments where I love this community. And I still hate the people in it. I'm just kidding. And I, and I, I, I love so many people in it. Because um, I was watching a video this morning and like one of the ladies said, she said, you know, this community can be so beautiful at times and have come together and really make a difference in people's lives and stuff like that. Um, they also can come together and be like a mob. But um, I, I, I love when I am in tuned into what it is that drew me to this community to begin with. And that is the dolls and the love for the art and the sculpting and just all of that. And when I can tap into that and zone out and not focus on all the other dramas that's going on, because there's always drama going on, whether people want to admit it or not, there's always some back talk, somebody not liking somebody. It's always that going on. But when I can just tap into the part that I love the most, it's a beautiful thing. I, I I just cannot I can't I can't I cannot stress it enough I, it's just it's amazing to me so 
that's where I'm at right now. Like, I absolutely love my collection. I love all the babies. And I, I get such a bubbly feeling when I look at the babies. Um, you know, right now, of course, the new baby is Jersey. Even though Mimi came right before him. But right now, Jersey, Jersey has my whole heart right now. Like, he is just so captivating. And I'm just so excited to see what he's going to look like in all his little outfits and stuff. And it just feels good. And when I walk over, I look at Piper and I look at Lily Grace and Kenya and Aspen and Baby Blessing and Paris. And just all the babies is just out and about in, in the, the nursery and around the house. It just makes me feel good. And I don't care what nobody say. Nobody can't tell me that it's something wrong with loving dolls as a grown woman because there's nothing wrong with it like I don't it gives me a good feeling a happiness that is you know you really can't explain it but hey I just love it and I'm just so at peace with everything right now and like I said in my previous video a lot of stuff been going on but you know what God has been good to me and I don't talk about religion and all that stuff much, but I'm just going to say God has really been good to me. And I'm just so grateful and thankful for all the stuff that I have overcame. Like, not just in the doll world and just in life in general. I mean, nobody knows my story. And trust me, it's not the most perfect story. But... With that being said, I'm going to go before I get too deep and too emotional. But I'm just going to tell you guys, and I'll just leave this with you guys, is that be grateful, be thankful for everything that you've been through. It's always a lesson in it. Even the hurtful and the pain and disappointment and the loss that you've suffered. Um, take, take something good from it. Sometimes it's very hard. It's very hard, especially when you lose someone that you really, really love and you don't understand why. Why would they be taken away? And I know you're not supposed to question it, but just be thankful that you were given that opportunity and that time to spend with those people. It's just always something in it that you can take something from it. That's all I got to say. And, you know, like I said, you may not have the most expensive doll in your in in the hot in the industry you may not have the best the most fanciest you may not even have the one that you really want the most but you have one be thankful some people don't even have that one some people are watching these videos wishing that they could just get their hands on one even the barely done ones okay so anyway again like i said I am thankful for everything. I am thankful for those that support me genuinely and sincerely. I pray for those that do not, that follow with um, with evil intent and malicious intent. I pray that your souls be changed and <laughs> you <laughs> find a way not to be so miserable in your life. And whatever it is that is wrong that is going on wrong, that keep you in that dark place, I pray that you come out of it because I know too that a lot of times people do things not because they're the most horrible person, but because things have been done to them that has broken them and hardened them and made them dark and cold. And not that that's an excuse, but that's why I'm able to forgive people too because Sometimes people are acting out of a place of hurt and pain. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me go. Um, thank you guys. Bye. <laughs> let me shut this thing off before I, I, I just... <sighs>